It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Um, this round of turns is going to be Junior, Sunny, then Betty Crocker. Junior and Sunny have already moved. Um, Junior's pretty much just kind of bolstering these kind of three points of contention he has here. Uh, he also sent a miner up here to pick up these minerals, along with the Praxis fleet for defense. It's touchy because it's right by the battle fleet here, but he's not sure he doesn't want to take them on. Uh, the battle fleet's also protecting a miner, interestingly enough. Uh, kind of a mirror here going on. Um, just bolstering there. All right, what's more interesting, I think, in at least in terms of history, is what Sonny did this turn. He sent a uh, mine. He, he hit on that minesweepers cost the same amount as scouts. So why not just use the minesweepers to explore these two points of threat that had been there for so long? Um, and then if they, you know, run across any mines, they're going to sweep one up before they get destroyed. And that's exactly what happened. So they, the one here. Uh, swept up one mine and then got blown up by the other and I had two. Here, however, there were eight mines, so it, it got rid of two of them. Um, but now Sonny knows what's going on here. And as you can see, most of the blue is out. He's sending an, another one up to check out what this is. That's a minesweeper. Another minesweeper here, just in case. Um, and then the Titan also took took out the raider that was here. So things are looking up for Sonny. He's he's starting to get his infrastructure back together and recovering from Betty Crocker's onslaught. Can Betty Crocker counterattack or have something up his sleeve? Well, let's see. It's Betty Crocker's turn right now. Junior not being able to leave well enough alone has unveiled another doomsday machine. It's there that could go different ways for him. Um, ideally... He would like it to come up here because uh, Betty Crocker has colonized, well, is about to colonize a planet that the Doomsday Machine uh, would want to destroy. Doomsday Machine could also destroy these aliens here, which could make for a race, a colony ship race, to see who could colonize this. That's in Betty Crocker's favor as well. So overall, probably not a good thing for Junior. Um, he's worried the Doomsday Machine could make its way to his colony here which is also a valid target for the Doomsday Machine. We'll see which way it goes. Sonny's moving further on the, the offensive. He brought his bringers of pain forward, and his Titan is also moving this way towards the lands of Betty Crocker. On another front, Betty Crocker's also besieged this um, scout <laughs> Junior sent there to harass him. He was kind of trying to sneak back this way, but uh, Betty Crocker sent some a destroyer from his battle fleet. Now, it may look like the destroyer's better, but actually the scout is a little bit better. It's got attack technology one. Um, I don't know if that's defense technology. Yeah, it's got defense technology two, so it's four one, whereas the destroyer is a four zero. And the scout gets to attack first because he's fearless. Here we go. And that's gonna destroy the destroyer. But now, Betty Crocker knows what's there, so he can maybe act accordingly. Junior was going to have the Praxis attack the battle fleet here, but then he realized, or I realized, that the Nebula is really not good for Junior's uh, race. What it does is it, it makes everyone fight at the same, um, same level, so they'd all be, I think, E-class. Uh, and so it's all, it's solely determined by tactics, and everyone knows Betty Crocker has the superior tactics. So rather than get get to fire first with a, with all of his people, he'd fire last if he's there. So that that puts him at a significant disadvantage in Nebula, which is unfortunate because he's got a lot of Nebula, a lot of people in Nebula. So that's going to change his dynamic quite a bit. Just that one fact of the terrain. Um, Sunny is continuing, kind of returning. Uh, returning the favor to Betty Crocker, the, the favor of um, making the game exciting and dynamic by sending uh, another minesweeper into the Frontier Fleet. That revealed what the Frontier Fleet contained. Um, also got rid of the minesweeper, but every time he sends a lone minesweeper into a bunch of mines, that essentially takes out um, two, two, um, two mines. For one minesweeper. So that's six bucks for Sonny to get rid of ten bucks of Betty Crocker's. And plus he got uh, a lot of information. Now Betty Crocker's guy 
kind of got to uh, react to that now. The Titans coming forward, the Bringers of Pain are coming forward. Um, he can bet that the Bringers of Pain are f fairly tough, probably tougher than what he has here, which is four destroyers, or six destroyers, a bunch of mines, and a boarding ship. Now, the fact that that boarding ship got revealed is also not so great because now everyone knows before he got to spring it on them. It was going to be another one of his surprises, a new kind of technology, a new dimension for him to to fight, on, fight against. If you can get one of those deployed against Sunny, that would be good. Sunny's got a lot of strong ships, um, which is something he lacks. So we'll see what happens. No. I made a mistake and didn't do that the first time. When the Doomsday Machine beat those aliens, uh, it should have also destroyed the planet. Um, yeah. So, uh, it kind of is a wash, I think, in terms of fairness to Junior. Junior got us some alien technology out of it, got to use those col that colony for a while, but at the same time he um, has invested in this area as well. Not very much. So I think overall, it was in it, my mistake was in his favor. So that is going to cut off the MS pipeline, that's just a few bucks for this, this turn. And, uh, now the Doomsday Machine. Now the Doomsday. Seeing the Titan come up and the bringers of pain come close, uh, Betty Crocker decided to go on the offensive. Um, he sent, he, he's researched the next level of um, cloaking, so he's, he revealed that in order to get by Praxis here and start attacking uh, behind the lines Junior. Since he revealed that there, he thought he'd go ahead and take the shot now while, uh, before people had a chance to recover from the fact that he has um, such great cloaking. So he split off a bit of his frontier fleet to kind of try to defend what was left, but he's kind of worried right now about these colonies. So now it's frontier fleet versus the bringers of pain. We have it set up here on our battle board. Um, the new cloaked raiders get to go first, and they're going to, they have an attack of six versus two for the battle cruisers, so that would give them four better. I think they'll go for the battle cruisers first. Yeah. Let's fail. That's one battle cruiser gone. Fail. That's the third shot. And that's two battle cruisers gone. And we'll go ahead and roll for, I should have rolled for experience before. The battle cruiser has a hull of four better. No, and the second one, yes, so they're skilled now. And now they're going to take their final shot against this guy. Um, and that's going to give them six versus three. That's three or better. And they failed. So now um, the battleship, I guess, is what that's called. Um, what does it say on here? What's this thing? Sorry, I keep failing in knowing what the names of things are. Yeah, Battleship. I keep succeeding in knowing what the names of things are. Battleship gets to attack. It's going to go ahead and attack the boarding ship, I think. Um, and that's six. Again, it's actually seven because it has a... It's skilled, whereas it's a green boarding ship. Seven against um, one. So six or better. And it destroyed the boarding ship. That's too bad. That, I, I look forward to boarding, but I think boarding's kind of designed to be a long shot. Maybe you need a lot of boarding ships to make it work. Um, all right, now uh, Betty Crocker's destroyers, and I think they are going to keep going on that battleship. Well, they. Oh, he gets to reveal a technology he got, actually. His destroyers are allowed to, to use the attack. Um, technology progression Betty Crocker has. Normally they don't because they're technically hull zero, but since um, he has this special alien technology he got, they're able to, to get it. And they can actually go up to a, an attack plus three, which would be really powerful because then he'd have uh, ships with those stats of seven zero attack at D, but um, they only cost him nine and no maintenance. So that's not bad. Um, so, but right now they're at five versus three. That's two or better. It's not that good. Maybe they'll, they're they're going to go for these destroyers instead. So they got to get a four better. One. That 
That's one. Roll for experience, two or better. Two. I know that's three, I think. Four. One more shot on the destroyers. Five. They failed. Destroyers gonna shoot back. They're gonna shoot at they'll shoot at the raiders, yeah. And they need a does Sonny have the attack tech? Yeah, he does. So they need a they have a five. Um versus one. That's a four better. One. They failed. Um I guess the minesweepers will attack. They just they can only hit on a one. There's eight of them. They'll attack raiders. One, two, oh, they got one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, they actually killed one of these guys. So they'll go up a level maybe if they get a two or a two or better or three or better. Two or better. And they failed. All right, another round. Um, yeah, Betty Crocker's got to get his hits in now because the um, Sonny's going to be able to charge on this turn if he doesn't decide to retreat. He might actually decide to retreat in order to protect here because um, mostly he's just got minesweepers and that's not that great. So his, okay, raiders are attacking this battleship. Fail, and they got to get a... Six or better, I think, yeah, no, four or better, it's three or better. Oh, they got it. And so that means seven or better to make a level. And they are now veterans. That was two, I think, two shots on the DD. And they needed a six. That wasn't quite it. They needed five or better right now. Oh, but they have, okay, so let's figure this out, sorry. They're at five, plus one is six, plus another one is seven, so that wasn't enough. They destroyed it. Um, see if they make a level, and they don't. All right, now it's these DDs versus the Minesweepers, and they need to get a um, four or better. You love this part of it. This is your favorite part. One, two, that's one hit. Four, five, and so they got rid of one of these. We'll get rid of this one here, and then see if they make a level two or better. They do. So they're skilled destroyers. This went better for Betty Crocker than I thought, but I didn't really think about it too much. And they're going to go ahead and retreat back to um, this colony here. Sonny, who had just started feeling confident enough to go on the offensive, is starting to feel besieged once again. He had brought his bringers of fear. He was so confident. He brought them away from where they'd been sitting here, up here, to maybe take on this planet and start to, um, the alien ships on this planet, and start to expand more, uh, which I think he, he needs to do. Um, when suddenly the frontier fleet was successful against the bringers of pain, reducing the bringers of pain back to a bun down to a bunch of minesweepers. Bringers of fear, his mightiest force is up here, and his titan is kind of too far afield to get back in time. He, has, he hasn't researched any movement technology yet. Uh, to make matters worse, Junior's jumped in. Uh, some people right here from this warp point, from the Logos fleet. So he's got that to deal with, too. So... He, it's really hard on him. So he's got to kind of decide what he's going to do, whether he's going to try to even bother to bring the Titan back, because it's not going to get back until um, next next round of turns anyway, at which point he could hopefully just make a new one there. There are enough shipyards. Um, but if this Frontier Fleet comes in, that might get rid of the shipyards. But he's got some here too. So it might be in his best interest just to keep the Titan going forward um, in order to kind of hit back. And then the bringers of fear, hmm, he could bring them down here to defend this uh, MS pipeline, which would save him some dollars, or he could just send a, a, a couple units there, but he doesn't know what this is. I think he is going to bring them, if he brings them here, 
You can use the base's reaction movement to protect there if it goes. I'm going to... See, I'm not sure... So reaction movement, if there's a battle that happens, then you can move over there. I need to look to see if that if that applies if it's a, like a civilian ship because those aren't really a battle. You just kind of automatically destroy them. Hold on. All right, so there does need to be a, a combat capable ship there to trigger reaction movement. So I said the, uh, a, a ship move off of the bringers of fear here so that even if this is greater than these two destroyers, bringers of fear can come down and help defend and thereby keep that MS pipeline, which is so important, intact. Um, over here, the Titan is going to move forward. Now, he's got a choice of spots. This one's far less defended, right? But the advantage of moving here is he can maybe draw the Frontier Fleet back to help protect. Um, but then there's also more units there. So... Hmm. He likes to play it safe, but he also kind of wants to bring it around to kind of cut them off. I think the chances are more that he would go up, but I'm going to actually roll a die on this one. We'll say 70% chance of going up, 7 or less, and then um, if it's 8, 9, or 10, he'll go into the nebula here. And I don't think the nebula, yeah. I mean, he would lose his A rating advantage hmm, if he goes in the nebula. Nebula is definitely in um, Betty Crocker's advantage because he's got more tactics than everyone. So we'll make it 80% he goes there and 20% he goes there. All right, here we go. And he's going up, which I think is because of what I know is the worst move for him. Yep, there's five mines there. That's enough to take out this Titan. Titans get one damage per mine, so his Titan's gone. But so are five mines, so... Money-wise, the Titan cost him 30, the five mines cost Betty Crocker 25, so it's it's kind of a wash, but he doesn't have that Titan to work with anymore. Too bad. But then this is kind of clear here, so maybe he can come this way next turn. His money-making capability isn't so great, but at least he doesn't have to pay maintenance on that big old Titan. No. And Betty Crocker's using the final turn in the round, or his final turn in the round, he's first, and it's Junior, then Sonny, uh, to go on the offensive. He's he split up his frontier fleet, it's not even here anymore, uh, so that the destroyers went here, and the raiders went straight through here, just flew, shoom, uncloaking right to here. So he's going to be attacking two of Sonny's colonies, and um, probably preventing Sonny from getting that money, unless Sonny can counter counterattack but he doesn't really have anything close by which could his bringers of fear are up here he also shot the um the raiders that were here down to this colony there's no defense there uh for um junior so that's gonna that's gonna smart there as well um and also did a full frontal assault with his battle fleet so we'll reveal what that is right now i'm gonna resolve all this off camera because i'm i think i've done a lot of die rolling already but it's just three destroyers and six scouts and I don't think they're very strong destroyers or strong scouts but he doesn't think this is probably much of anything nope it's just a couple of destroyers there so I'll go ahead and roll all of that and get back with you so Junior's colony on Anyan got thoroughly destroyed um, as did one of his destroyers here he decided to retreat the other one when it got a chance to the Praxis fleet I guess it actually should have gone here. Yeah, it's got to go back to the colony. I think it goes as close to the colony as possible. All right, uh, over here, these raiders were somewhat successful. They, they became elite, which is nice, but they lost a unit in the process, got rid of the base there, and damaged the colony. Uh, the destroyers here did not do so well, though. Um, they pretty much just got shredded up till there was one left, and it retreated that way. Um, I think that, that accounts for all the accounting of Betty Crocker's offense on this final turn. Next, it's going to be Junior and Sonny's turn to kind of try and pick up the pieces a little bit, and then we'll be done, I think. The Praxis fleet being in between the um, battle fleet and the raiders that just destroyed this colony had a choice to make. Uh, well, Junior had a choice to make on behalf of the Praxis fleet. What to do with them? He decided to get rid of the raiders behind the lines because he figured he can rebuild here in order to deal with the battle fleet. And these two colonies are 
better defended than the rest of this stuff here. So here we go. Let's let's do another fight where I roll dice for you. Um, raiders get to attack first. They're green though. These aren't the elite raiders we've seen in the past. These are some green raiders. Their story is about to be told. They're going against a pretty tough fleet though. Um, Praxis fleet has a fleet bonus. They have um, also an, uh, an additional attack strength bonus because they are more skilled. So if these carriers get to fire, which they will no matter what, they're going to fire at they get one from technology, one from alien technology, that's six, one for their skill, which is seven, and then one for the fleet bonus, that's eight. So eight versus one, so they'll get a seven or better. But let's think about the raiders right now. Actually, the raiders could just retreat. That's probably what they want to do. Never mind, we're not going to do this fight. They get the ability to just retreat when the, the after all forces are revealed. So... They can actually just retreat back the way they came, or they could retreat here, I think. So let's count. So they're here, one, two, three, four, and here is one, two. Oh yeah, they gotta retreat that way, oddly enough. So there we go. Junior, perhaps out of spite towards Betty Crocker, pulled did pull his units out from uh, Sonny's space. Um, that's gonna allow Sonny to focus more on the encroaching Betty Crocker and maybe striking back, which is kind of what Junior would like right now. He's a little bit annoyed with Betty's antics. Um, that's pretty much all he was able to do. He couldn't really counter-strike here with the Bringers of Pain because they're a bunch of minesweepers, and these raiders are unfortunately not mines. And that's going to do it for this edition of the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. Uh, things are... Just changing. I I don't know when this game will end. Um, looks like we got a long ways ahead of us. Um, but some some blows have fallen, and some damage has been done, and balance is shifting. But when you have a three-legged stool, the other two legs tend to compensate if one leg uh, grows too long. <laughs>